Hey guys, it's me, the Twilight Dash, and today I'm gonna be reacting to MLP Fever's new video that just dropped like a few days ago, and it's called "What Is Happening with MLP." And I was going to uh, re uh react to it a few days ago, but I've been busy with work lately, so yeah, but. Uh, but luckily, I have time today to record this video because I have a later shift at 10.30 in the morning. So yeah, uh, let's get right into this video. Hello everyone, it's Cleo here and- Hey Cleo, what's up? How are you doing? Today I'm going to be talking about ponies and how I don't know what they're doing anymore. And so I don't know what I'm doing anymore. My whole channel for years now has been all about My Little Pony, and in more recent times has been all about G5 My Little Pony and updates about it. I mean, I mean, to be honest, Cleo, like, you know, like, I've kind of been through a similar thing like you originally, because when I started my YouTube channel back in what, like, 2019? Uh, basically my final year of college, uh, I mainly did flash game videos on my channel. And I was like, you know what, actually, I kind of want to do more uh, more in the future. So yeah, uh, I, I kind of get what you mean sometimes. And reviews about it, and it started out pretty positive. Me excited about new pony stuff. And as most of you know, in my opinion, it just went from bad to worse. Until we get to the point now, with the current Make Your Mark stuff and the Tell Your Tale cartoon, where I just have zero interest in it. It has got so bad last time that I thought about making myself do a review of chapter 4, I think it was, and I just couldn't face doing it. I, I mean, to be honest though, right? Like, when I did my uh, chapter 4 video, uh, it wasn't really that difficult, really. All I had to do was just say what happened and whatnot. But yeah, it's a, it wasn't that difficult for me, but I understand your pain. I could not make myself do it. I did a little update video about Celestia and Luna being there, because that's quite cool, seeing them in 3D. And I just could not make myself watch the whole thing, so I have not even seen... Oh, okay. Uh, because, you know, I, I cause, because luckily I was able to watch that entire chapter like, in one day, I kid you not. That part of the show, because I can't do it anymore. I have no interest in what's going on in the show anymore. The writing is just so poor. Now, having said that, when more stuff comes out, I'll probably make some videos on it, but even- Well, I mean, technically, we still have what? Two months left until chapter 5 comes out on the- I think it's the 18th of uh, October, or- Or is it September? I can't remember. I, it's- I think it's in like one or two months. Like in one or two months, we get chapter 5. And chapter 6 comes out in... When does it come out again? I think... Uh, I believe it comes out on the 23rd of November. So yeah, we don't have that long to wait, I would say. If I loved all of G5 and everything they're putting out, there's just not much to talk about anymore. I think I have probably discussed the spots of everything. And they're not even releasing anything right now. And when they do, it's few and far between. So I'm... Uh, once again, um, um, uh, we're only like, like three months away or so from, you know, like make your mark ending completely, I believe. Just at a bit of a loss as to what to do. Regards reviewing it, there's nothing to pick apart about the Tell Your Tale episodes. They're flimsy stories at best, and that's okay for just a webisode. But it's not really much to talk about on the channel, and I've noticed that no one even cares about videos about Tell Your Tale. The only G5 videos anybody will watch is to do with the 3D animation, and even then, it's declining all the time. So I feel like for G5, it's reaching a dead end, uh, sadly, as a franchise, and then that means... Yeah, same. Uh, I feel... Here's what I think, right? I think, you know, like, when... I think... Uh, and and this is my opinion here. I think after the movie, right? Things just went downhill, sadly. Because, you know, like, the movie had... Uh, a good storyline. It, it... It was about, you know... Uh, ponies... Like, um, working together to bring back the Unity Crystal. 
and that was a good story. And this one, and this story now is isn't really that good. Of, isn't really that good in my opinion. This section of my channel is kind of reaching a dead end, which is sad because it was so popular and fresh a couple of years ago with the, when the film came out, and now it's just so stagnant, which is so sad because I thought it would go on for years, and it just didn't. Now, people have been here for a long time. No, I did not start out making review content. I started out making content with Pony Toys, and then that ridiculous copper thing happened, where things get marked as for kids, whether or not you want them to be or not. Oh, copper. Uh, I hate it so much. Whether or not you intended the video to be for kids or not, they'll decide for you. Which is in- But can you just- But I swear you can go into- uh, I, No, all of you- all of you, oh, actually, like, you know what- I was, Oh, I know, no, actually, it wasn't that. So, uh, so whenever you upload a video, you have to- you have to tick like whether it's good for kids or not. And the thing is, like for my videos, I always pick not for kids because I because I want the comments to be available. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, yeah, but it, but yeah, it does happen sometimes. <laughs> Insane, and in some cases, has led to videos that were wildly inappropriate for children being marked as for kids. But I digress. The problem with making that kind of content with pony toys is not that I didn't like making it; it's that it gets flagged as for kids. I find a lot more easily than, for example, the Littlest Pet Shop videos I've been making, which I've, well, I assume you've noticed. I have an ongoing series. I've noticed it, but I don't really watch it. My friend, the Key Pony, he, he, he does watch it, I believe. So the Littlest Pet Shop toys, and you might think, well, that doesn't get marked as for kids. I don't know why, but I think the algorithm has certain tags and wants to flag it as for kids. I can't explain it to you, but past experience has taught me well on what gets marked as for kids and what doesn't. So right now I am enjoying making that. I am loving making a story happen. That is actually originally why I ever set up this channel all that time ago was to tell stories. That is my passion. That's what I love doing, writing. And that's why I find it so disappointing when G5 is so badly written because I feel like even I could do a lot. Yeah, same. This is why I hate about TV shows, in my opinion, and cartoons, I guess. It's when the writers uh, are literally, you know, what's the word? Thinking of, like, bad stories. And not just that, too. I mean, like, it's not just, I mean, it's not just MLP. Like, Power Rangers has also had it. Transformers, well, had it sometimes. But, yeah, Power Rangers had it, like, at least sometimes. And, and, the, prime, and the prime season that I'm thinking of for Power Rangers is, uh, Mega Force and Super Mega Force. Oh God, and ugh, it's honestly worse than like Operation Overdrive, in my opinion. A lot better than that. Having said that, my channel has created this kind of fork in the road where I have G Five reviews and the Littlest Pet Shop series going at the same time, and it just seems extremely random. And it is because of that history of my channel being Pony Toys, and then it's kind of split. I mean, personally, right. Um, you could just take a break from, like, making G5 videos if you want, and just focus more on the, like, Lewis Pet Shop ones. J just saying, like, you don't have to always do two things at once, or separately. You can always focus on, on, on one thing, like, more than the other. Into Pony Reviews and LPS Toy Videos. You see how it, it's, it is easily explained once you know where it all comes from. Of course, I would love to tell stories with ponies. But I don't know the best way to do that. I do have ideas for how to get around the sensors. I don't know if it will work. I kind of have an idea where it will look like this with different pictures, almost like a visual novel. I don't know if all of you are familiar with that format, but kind of like a visual novel, but with voice acting. I'm familiar with that type of format, actually. Because I also love acting. But I don't know if that's the kind of thing you would all like to see. I don't know if you're here only for official NLP reviews. Mind you, I feel like a lot of you are dropping off with that as well. But I would really love to know what you think to these ideas. And if you'd like to see, basically, if you'd like to see original My Little Pony stories, which would be my take on what I feel My Little Pony should do. What would I do if I was in charge of the My Little Pony story? That would be what my idea was for a series. Obviously, I can't do animation. Even if I could, that would take an extremely long time. And I'd probably just get a season. Yeah, same. Uh, funny enough, back when I was in 
college, uh, in my second and third year or fourth year actually, I did animation for for one of my modules, and it was like, oh, I kid you not, animation is one of those things that that takes like forever, and luckily like one of my friends who actually passed like university or sorry graduated from well yeah he he's passed university this year um he's actually trying to do um animation um, a, um as a freelancer actually but yeah it's very annoying and and tiresome if i'm being honest here with animation and desist anyway but that was my idea to continue my own version all the time I am talking about how badly written this is and how they shouldn't be doing X, Y, Z. And I've never really proven that I could do any better, even though I feel like most people probably could do better than current G5 writing, to be quite honest. But is there something you'd like to watch? I'm not certain. I would love to know what you all think. And also, if you are interested in that kind of thing, what would you like to see from such a thing? What kind of developments for kind of a different Mild Pony reboot? Not based on the existing characters, but another reboot but a fan reboot, if that makes sense. I understand this has got really rambly and my thoughts maybe not as clear as they could. No, it's fine clear. Like, I uh, I completely understand what you mean sometimes. And yeah, don't worry about it. Like, you know, like we all have our moments like where we say random stuff, like, you know, like from our heads and don't realize that we said those things. But yeah, it's fine. I get what you mean. Could be on this. But I was thinking to myself that I absolutely need to get some pony content out on this channel because it's been ages. But then I have nothing pony to talk about. But I do have ideas and I have a good imagination. And I, I do have an idea of how to make this work. But I just don't know if any of you would be interested or not. And I'd love to know what your thoughts are. In you know, Cleo, um... <laughs> how do I explain this? Oh my god. Um, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, so, okay, okay, yes, that's what I was saying, um, you know, like, you don't really know if something's gonna work unless you try it, so, in my opinion, I mean, you should at least try it to see if it works, and if it doesn't work, stop doing it, but, you know, that, that's just me, though. In the comments below, and if you've made it to the end of all this rambling, thank you very much for supporting this channel and me. Anyway, of course, if you would like to see more pony content in the future, which I promise there will be in one way or another, even if it's not that frequent, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and thanks for watching. Bye. Anyways, that was my reaction to Cleo's latest MLP video, uh... The Shao Ki Pony will probably react to her video too at one point. And it'll probably mention me uh me as well in it because, you know, uh you know, I or because you know like because I already reacted to it. I, I already reacted to it before him. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.